Okay, welcome back. Now we are moving on to chapter three. So we're going to talk about parallel lines and a transversal. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, picture right over here. Okay, so this picture to the right, we have two types of angles. Okay, so uh, we have obtuse angles and we have acute angles. Okay, that's the only types of angles that you should see here. So let's think about which ones are obtuse first. Okay, so obtuse, we recall, is... Uh, greater than 90, right? Greater than 90 degrees. So which ones look like they're greater than 90 degrees? Well, this one right here, that one's less, right? So that one right there. Okay, but we also said all of these are either obtuse or acute. So let's go through all of them and see. Well, that one's acute. That one's acute. This one is larger too, right? So that one's obtuse. So four. So we'd say one and four, right? And then five also, and um, six is small, seven is small, eight is big, right? So we can just put one um, arc for each of those, right? So one, four, five, and eight. Those are all obtuse. Okay, so if obtuse is greater than 90, then acute is less than 90, less than 90 degrees. Okay, so uh, which ones are less than 90, right? Well, if all of these are either acute or obtuse, that means the other ones are acute. So let's look at those, the small ones, right? So let's just put two arcs on those, right? That way I can say that this is not the same as that, right? This is different, but this one is right across right from two lines so we know that has to be the same also right but it's also acute so one two and three are acute okay and the other ones that are acute are six and seven right and let's just put two on that one and two on that one two for seven so six and seven so if they're all acute then they are all congruent to each other on this picture Okay, in this picture, if they are uh, congru if they are uh, obtuse, that means they all have to be the same level of obtuseness. They all have to be the same value. Okay, if they are acute in this picture, then all of them are also congruent to each other. Okay, and we remember congruent means same measure. Right? Same measure is what congruent means. Okay, all right, so. In this picture, so we're only talking about in this picture to the right, okay? Only in this case, if you add an obtuse angle, right, say such as angle number four, right, one of those. Angle four in an acute angle, such as, say, seven, doesn't matter, they will add up to 180 degrees. Okay? They are going to be supplementary, supplementary. Right? Remember we said that's what adds up to 180. Okay? So, uh, that's the basics of what we're going to be talking about today. Okay? All of these angles are either going to be obtuse or acute. Any of the ones that are obtuse are going to be the same size. They're all going to be congruent. Any of the acute angles are also going to be the same size, going to be congruent. Okay? So, let's try to make that make more sense. So, let's look at this same picture. If I said angle 1 was 120, Okay, so if I'm going to say that that's 120, right, inside there, uh, which other ones uh, are 120? Okay, well, this one is right here. Across from that, right, if we see two lines crossing, across are also equal. So number four is also 120. Okay, then... What else do we know? What do we we know? Two is how much? Well, if this whole thing is 180, we would say for two we would say uh, 180 minus 120, right? And that would give us 60 degrees for number two, All right? So 60 for number two. Well, if 60 is two is 60, then three is also 60. Okay. So if we said these are all congruent, then so how much is angle 5? Well, if angle 5 is congruent with number 1, then that angle 5 is also 120. 
So the other one that's also 120 is 8, right? 8 has to be also 120. So 6 and 7 are the same. So if 6 is the acute one and it's the same as 2, if that's 60, that means 6 and 7 also are 60. So all the angles here, a uh, combination of them adds up to 120. All right, so that's what we want to remember on this picture that we're talking about right here. Anything to do with this picture, um, the two angles are always supplementary um, and, or if they're not congruent. Okay, they're either congruent or supplementary. So let's talk about some vocabulary words. First thing is corresponding angles. Okay, as corresponding angle means we can think same corner. Okay, so corresponding angles are congruent. These are all going to be congruent angles. Okay, and we said congruent means same measure. Okay, so these are all congruent. So uh, first one is corresponding, so the same corner. So one, if we said angle one, this is the same corner. I'm just going to kind of draw it here for you to see for right now. That's the same corner as five, right? Okay, both of those would be the same corner. So I'd say 1 and 5. And then I could also say sorry, 1 and 5, right? I could also say um, 2 and 6, right? Similarly, those are the same corner, right? 2 and 6. 2 and 6. Okay. Uh, then I could look at like this one right here, right? 3 and 7. 3 and 7. 3 and 7. Right? And then I could also think um, 4 and 8, right? 4 and 8. Those are corresponding. So anytime they're corresponding, which means the same corner, they're the same measure. Right, and we see that's larger than uh, 90. That's so that other one, if it's not acute, it also has to be larger than 90. Okay, the vertical angles. Remember, vertical angles. We said um, we've talked about it in the past. Right, vertical angles are two lines crossing. Uh, so it looks like this, right? So we would say this angle and this angle, right, are equal. Hey, any ones that are crossing from each other, so 1 and 4, right? Also, 5 and 8. Okay, which other ones? 2 and 3 and 6 and 7. 2 and 3 and 6 and 7. Okay, then we have alternate exterior angles. Alternate exterior, okay? Let's talk about what that means. Alternate. Okay, alternate is going to refer to the other side. Okay, exterior means outside the parallel lines. Parallel lines. Actually, there's only one R, I think. <laughs> parallel. All right, parallel lines. So, alternate exterior are on the other side of each other and outside the parallel lines. So these are the parallel lines. So outside of those and on opposite sides. So 1 and 8. 1 and 8. Okay. So 1 and 8. And 2 and 7. So I'm just going to highlight it. Don't highlight it on your paper. 2 and 7. Okay. Just so you can see them, right? They're the, both the same size and the same shape. Okay, so 2 and 7. All right, so keeping that in mind, let's move on to the next category. These are all, as I mentioned, all the same uh, measure because they're all congruent. Okay, next we're going to talk about supplementary. These are all supplementary. Okay. That means they add to 180, right? Add to 180. 
Okay, so the consecutive interior. Consecutive means next in order. Right, so if we go consecutive numbers, it's the next number in order. Right, interior means inside the parallel. Inside the parallels. Okay, so next in order and inside the parallels. Okay, so we got this. These are the parallels. So next to each other in order. So three and five. Then also four and six, right? We're looking right here, three and then five, right? And then four and then six. They're next to each other and they're inside the parallels. Three and five and four and six. All right, next. Okay, linear pairs. We've already talked about linear pairs before, right? So we're going to remember linear pairs. Uh, form a straight line, right? Something that looks like that. Okay, so we're looking for a straight line and then something that cuts in between it. Okay, so all we know the linear pairs are supplementary. They add to 180. So if we look at it like this, right? If we turn our paper, we're looking like that, right? Two and four. Okay. Also, we would say six and eight, right? Six and eight. Then also, hey, five and seven, right? And then. One and three. Okay, so those are linear pairs. All right, so um, we also have some other ones. I'm going to change a different color. What about one and two, right? One and two. And then you would say three and four, right? Three and four. Okay, then we would say those last two would be five and six and seven and eight. Five and six and seven and eight. Those all. If we looked at them, they would add to 180, right? Anytime that we have two that form a straight line, they're going to add to 180. Okay, so I know we went through a lot of stuff that's somewhat confusing, maybe a lot of confusing, but all these angles, they're all going to be just uh, one of two different numbers, any of these. So if one is, say, 100, the other one has to be 80, okay? Right, so uh, if, because they have to add up to 180. So let's get right into some practice. Okay, so let's look over here. It says if m is parallel to n, okay, so we know we can use those rules, then find the value of x. Okay, so these are next to each other, right? So we're going to say these are, these two are consecutive interior. Right, consecutive interior. Okay, so uh, those add to 180. They're definitely not the same size, right? This one is small. It's less than 90. This one is larger, right? So we would say uh, 180 minus 102 would give us 78, and that's what x equals, right? X equals 78 degrees. Okay, so it's as simple as that if we understand, once we understand what we're working with. Okay. Next. 63 and x, how would we find that? Well, here's where we break it down. If that's 63, then that one has to be 63, right? If that's 63, then that one has to be 63. And so then these have to add to 180, right? So I would say uh, it's going to be 180 minus 63 would give me x, right? So that's going to be equal to... 117 degrees. Yes, that's right. 117. Okay, so simple as that. Uh, we're just going to recognize that this and this and this are all in the same corner. Those are corresponding. Okay, good. Next, let's look at this. We need to find x and y both. Well, what do we know? Let's try x first, right? So you say x. What do we know about x? x in this one. Add to 180, right? They're next to each other. So we would say 180 minus 130 gives us X, which is 50 degrees, right? Okay, so next, if that's X, then what about Y? 
Well, what do we know? If this is 130, then y has to also be 130 as well, right? y is 130. Because these are what we call corresponding angles, right? We said, uh, we talked about earlier, if they're in the same corner, right, they're congruent. So like 3 and 7 are in the same corner, 4 and 8. All right, next, um, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. All right, so on this one, we're thinking like uh, these two are on the same side, right? Same side and on the interior. So uh, we're going to say consecutive interior. Okay, so those add to 180, right? Because we know we should be able to see this is definitely less than 90, right? It's not 127. So we're going to say 6x minus 13 plus 127 equals 180, right? Because that makes sense, right? So now let's go and solve. Uh, we're going to combine both of those, right? So negative 13 plus 127 is 6x plus 114, right? Equals 180. Okay, next we are going to... Subtract our 114 from both sides, right? Cancel. 6x equals 180 minus 114. If we put in our calculator, it's 66, right? And we're going to divide by 6. We know x equals 11. Next. All right, these are our last two. They're more difficult, but we got this. So uh, this one and this one. Okay, we know that this one is the same as this one, right? So this one is the same as that one. So we're going to say that they're both equal to each other, right? So we're going to say that those are congruent, right? So we're going to say 1 equals the other. We're going to say 5x plus 15 equals 6x plus 8. Okay, so now let's just solve. We're going to subtract 6x, subtract 6x. Okay, that's going to be negative 1x, right? Because the negative is larger. We're going to bring down the positive 15 equals that cancels and we have 8 All right so we're going to subtract 15 we're going to subtract 15 cancels negative 1x equals 8 minus 15 gives us negative 7 okay so now we want the opposite of both sides right the opposite of negative 1x is just is 1x right or just x right so opposite of negative 7 is positive 7 so that's our answer x equals 7 all right, so they're asking for x or not, so that's our answer. All right, next, we need to find the value of x and y. Hey, okay, well, what do we know about these? They're in the same corner, so those are equal. But we don't know what x is or y. We can't do two at the same time. So let's look at these. What do we know about the x's? The two x's, so uh, the first step is look for the two same variables. Okay, we're going to use that first. All right, so let's do that. So the first step, let's look for the two same ones of those. So we're going to say 9x plus 2, right, because it adds to 180. Plus 5x minus 18 equals 180, right? So now let's solve. 9x plus the 5x is 14x's, right? 2 minus 18 is negative 16 equals 180. Right, so then we're going to add 16. We're going to add 16. Cancels. One four, 14 equals 196. Right, 14x. We're going to divide by 14, of course. So x equals 14. Okay, but now we need to figure out y. Okay, so y uh, is equal to this. Right. Uh, I'm sorry. 2y plus 20 is equal to that. Right. So let's set that up. 2y plus 20 equals 9, but instead of the x, what are we going to put? That's right. We're going to put 14 in place of that x. So now we're cooking. All right, so let's work from left to right. Or let's work from left to right. So we can only do one. Uh, we only want to do one thing at a time. So the first thing I want to do is I want to do this. So let's put that in our calculator. 9 times 14 plus 2. If we type, type that in calculator, that would give us 128. Okay, now it looks easier, right? We're going to subtract 20. We're going to subtract 20. Cancels. So we got 2y equals 108. Okay, divided by 2 means half. 
right? Half of 108 is 54. All right, so that's our final answer. I know you can do this. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. All we got to do is think that all of these angles either add up to 180 or they are congruent to each other. That's the whole thing. Either they add up to 180 or they're equal to each other. That's the whole lesson.